today we look at what is potentially like a mini accessory pack of mousers because not only does it come with mousers and mount mousers mousers and some battle damage bits and pieces but it comes with some other accessories most importantly the little tiny vhs and why is that important because of this my little tiny VHS collection that I have made, which is available for everybody. You can download this, and these are made specifically for these NECA tapes. So the, 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 words. The files that I've put together are actually made so that you can put them on top of these things. So isn't that cool? That's cool, right? And if you don't have any of these, you can get them in the Mouser pack, you can get them with Rex 1, and of course they come with the accessory set with the TV and all that stuff, but only one comes in there. But if you don't have any tapes, that's also fine because guess what? The tapes are not required. You can make these little tiny VHS and just fold the bottoms. I made it so that you can either cut it or work the bottom Work the bottom. Now let's open this thing up and see why this thing was so special in the first place. And is it even worth trying to get a hold of these days? And this set is thanks to a friend, I will say, on Facebook. Your friend now. We're friends. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the friend club. Hope you want to be part of it. Jeremy, who sent me this at a very great price. And I'm sorry to say that if you are interested in this, they are kind of hard to find at a good retail price. Let's open it and shut up. Uh, inside this is just a Technodrome because these are bad guys. Bad guys get the Technodrome, we know that. Sometimes I'm like halfway through recording and then I am not sure if I turned the other camera on. Man, that would just be the worst. All right, so looking at what we have in the plastic, we've got three, four, five, we have five mousers, a damaged one with a little mouse in it, and then this damaged one as well. And what is missing? What came out? Where did it go? Nothing? Something. It's just right here. It goes right there. And then we've got, look at all these actual tiny, nope, can't see it because it's plastic. And in this piece, we've got all these little mice. Look at that guy. Why is he different? Why does he look different than these? Anyway, let's get it out. Okay, so all the mousers looking pretty sweet. I love these guys. Uh, don't like fighting against them in the video games though. Which is the best Ninja Turtle video game? Tell me, which one? Could be old, could be new to me. It's, uh, Shredder's Revenge now. That one is awesome. And then Turtles in Time probably. That's so good. All right, so we got a piece of pizza. We got some cheese. We got this little tiny little drone thing. Look at him. Uh, so some kind of little bug drone thing that I don't remember anything about. I haven't made it that far back through all of the episodes yet. Uh, this does not articulate, but it, he looks like he will be a bit of a challenge to get on top of something that's not on top of a mouser, I guess, right? Is that kind of his thing is to get on a mouser? Uh, you only get one VHS in here. Uh, Jeremy sent me two, so thank you very much, Jeremy, because the VHS, I need as many as I can possibly get. Cheese looks cool, though. Let's adjust the camera and then look at the details. So the pizza slice, uh, not the first time we've seen pizza, but I like these details, and I can't ever get too mad about having too many pieces of cheese. Pizza. Pieces of pizza. Oof, I'm stupid. I think he holds the cheese piece, but if you want a nice... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If you want a good New York City pizza rat, this is the way to do it. And you don't have to buy the one from Super 7. That would cost you $55. Then it got delayed because it comes with Rat King and they delayed a Rat King. And that's a nightmare. That's a whole mess anyway. And people are complaining about everything because people complain. <gasps> this is the better way to get a pizza rat. So thank you for doing that, NECA. I didn't even realize that this uh, set came like this and didn't even think about it until just now. Cheese looks cool. It looks like, uh, honestly, like a piece of foam, though. Uh, like a cheese head kind of whatever you call it. What's the sport? Who are the sport boys? The sport boys with the cheese heads? Those guys. But this cheese looking rat boy, look. So you can put him. That's what he's, I'm sure, designed to do. It's probably even on the back of the box. I just didn't remember looking at it. None of these guys have articulation. They just kind of, they're all just pre-molded into different ways to sit on top of things, primarily the mousers, I guess. But they've got some cool little faces, super tiny. Uh, I am a fan of these. I don't know what I would really do with them, I'll be honest. Uh, knowing that a VHS came with this 
mouser set was really the big push for me in the first place. Uh, so two of this guy, and then the, the others are all unique. The VHS that comes with this set is actually blue painted versus the yellow that comes with the accessory set or just the gray that comes with Rex 1. So that's kind of interesting that they painted them differently. Now, Mousers all have articulation, so these are all going to be exactly the same, aside from the battle damaged one and the mouse one. But these guys do have articulation, so their mouth will open, their legs bend at the ankles, I guess you would call that, the knee, and they rotate here at the hip. And then the, the head, of course, rotates. It's kind of like a little ball joint. So you get some articulation out of these little mouser things, which is cool. It's a, it's a nice, they could have done just little statues like the mice. I think that would have been fine, as many as there are. And who really needs this many mice? Mousers. Oh, he's got battle damage. Uh, so these guys are duplicates of each other. This one has some authentic battle damage, probably from those nasty turtle boys. But he's all dented up, and then he's got these lines on there for effect. And then this one, which is all busted up, and he's got some wires exposed inside that are pliable, I guess is the right word, right? And you got the neck piece, which is here. Again, you got some wires and some details, which is really nice to see all that on the insides, basically the like the mechanics and the workings of the mouser. Although, how do you build this thing if you don't color code your wires? That's gotta be very frustrating uh, when you cross your wires in production. Man, learn to color coat. But he's got the same uh, battle damaged head as this one that is fully put together. So it's kind of interesting. We've reused a couple pieces, a couple molded, molded pieces. Uh, why do these have holes in the top of them? These guys have flat dome pieces and these two have holes, which of course it's a mold of the same thing. Uh, you got the mouse that's inside the damaged one. So this is a fully, a fully new sculpted piece. The neck is a little bit longer. Face is damaged in a different way. The body's damaged. And then you got this little mouse coming out of it, which is looking real cute. And it's flat here, so you can lay it a little bit better, I guess, however you want. All right, so that's pretty neat. Uh, now let's look at why do these guys have little holes in their heads? Oh, I see. Okay, so on the box, on the side of the, on the, side of the box, we get this Psy, which is sold separately, and it's just to kind of give you this cool uh, attack damage from your turtles. So I guess that's pretty neat. Uh, I imagine you can get a couple things in there, a Psy and a bow staff, maybe. Obviously not Leonardo's sword. But that's a cool idea. Um, yeah. I'm dumb. But that's a cool little set. I like it. I like it. It's mine now. But I also just wanted this for the most part, which is that was a lot to pay for just one tape. So I'm glad Jeremy sent me two extra ones. And now I got to find something to do with all of these things uh, that I have a little fun with. So I guess. Mm, to keep this video entertaining, we'll do a little posing segment. But then that's about it. Uh, so before I close this off and let you see the posing segment, uh, thank you so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate it. Don't forget about all of the VHS tapes that I've made available that you can download for cheap or have me produce them and you know ship them to you. But thank you. Have fun. And we'll see you next time.